Somebody asked me, hey, uh, how do you say Israelite in Hebrew? I said, it depends. They said, what you mean it depends? Don't you teach Hebrew? I said, yeah, but it depends. You're not sure? I thought you teach Hebrew, brother. Hebrew, like many languages, is a gendered language. If I'm speaking of an Israelite woman, she's going to be called in biblical Hebrew an Israelite. If I'm speaking of an Israelite man in Hebrew, he's called an Israeli. But don't believe me. It's on the screen right now. So if you look up on the screen and you can see my pointer, and I hope everybody can see my pointer, the first term says, why it say Ben Isha Israelite. And there went out the son of Isha Israelite, of an Israelite woman. The term for Israelite woman in biblical Hebrew is to call her in Hebrew an Israelite. Israelite. Okay? That's the term that you see right here, my arrow, first row, top left, Israelite. Right? Then it says, Wehu ben Ish Mitzri, and he was the son of an Egyptian. Betok Beni Yisrael. And a fight broke out in the camp between Betok, between the son of an Israelite, right? Then it says, Wainatsu Ba Machane in the camp, Ben Ha Israelite, Weish Ha Israeli. And a fight broke out in the camp between the son of an Israelite woman and an Israelite male. And the term in Hebrew, all the way at the bottom for Israelite male, is the term ha Israeli. So y'all learning something right now. An Israeli is not someone born in the state of Israel created in 1947. Not based on the Bible. Not based on the Torah. Maybe best based on the United Nations and the UN Charter. But not based on the Bible and the Torah. The Bible and the Torah defines the Hebrew term Israeli as a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I once had a conversation with a European Jew when I used to go to our Toro College here in New York City. And he said to me, um, why do you wear a uh, Star of David and you have all these rings with Hebrew on it? What, why, why, why do you do this? You, you come to class with, with Torah, you have the Torah with you, why? Why, why do you do this, why? <laughs> Every day you come to class, you have the Kumash, you have Tanakh. Why? Why Why do you do this, brother? Why? <laughs> and I said, I'm an Israelite. And he said, you are what? I said, I'm an Israelite. I said, what are you? He says, I'm an Israeli and I'm a Jew. I said, what? He said, I'm an Israeli and I'm a Jew. I said, no, I didn't hear you. Say it again. He said, no, you heard me. I said, no, nah, I don't hear you. Say it again. He said, I'm an Israeli and I'm a Jew. I said, that's interesting. Which one are you? He said, well, I'm a Jew because my mother's a Jew. I said, oh, that's interesting too. He said, I'm an Israeli because I'm born in Israel. I said, okay. I said, I'm Israeli too. He said, oh, Shalom. Where were you born in Israel? I said, I've never been to Israel. He said, wait, I'm confused. <laughs> I kid y'all not, true story. He said, I thought you just said you're Israeli too. I said, I am. He said, how can you be Israeli if you've never even been there? You've never been to Israel. I'm Israeli because I was born there. I was raised there. I'm Israeli. You're not Israeli. I said, yes, I am. He said, no, 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 not to be rude, but no, you're not Israeli. I said, yeah. I said, let's open up the Torah. Because if you look at the Torah, it clearly describes an Israeli as a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The book of Leviticus 24, the history of it is while the children of Israel were in the wilderness. The two men who are fighting in this moment, the fight is happening in the wilderness. After the children of Israel leave Egypt, they remain in the wilderness for 40 years, as anybody who has common sense and reads the Bible knows. For 40 years, the Bible says they wandered in the wilderness. 
So this fight happens throughout that 40 year wandering. They have a fight in the wilderness. None of these two men ever been to Israel, yet the Bible calls one of them an Israeli. When I showed him that, he dropped his jaw because in his own words, my rabbis don't teach this. I've never heard this. And I said, I know. I know why your rabbis don't teach you this. Because if you began to learn this, you would understand that you could never be a true Israeli based on the Bible. But you can be what you call yourself a Jew, a convert, but you could never be an Israeli. You could never be an Israelite because an Israelite is an actual descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I said, furthermore, when the Bible wants to prove whether or not someone is an Israelite, the Bible always uses a patriarchal genealogy. I said, can you show me anywhere in the Bible where a genealogical table is given for matriarchs? In order to prove that David or a living descendant of David is of the seed of David, are we showing the women or are we looking at the men? When we go to Genesis chapter 5 and we talk about Adam, Seth, Canaan, right? Or Adam, Sheikh, Kina'an, Mahalalel, Yared, Hanok, Metushla, Lamech, Noak, Shem, Apokshad, Shilak, Iber, Pileg, Reu, Serug, Nakor, Tirat, Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Lewi, Kohat, Amram, Moses. Not a female mentioned. And I went from Adam to Moses, 26 generations. And we didn't mention not one woman in order to declare the Israelite nature of any of those men. What about the Judite lineage? Yehuda, Peretz, Ketzron, Ram, Avinadav, Nakshon, Salma, Boaz, Oved, Yishai, Dawid, Shalomo. Not a female in sight. So where do you get the idea, my is Jewish friend? <laughs> that you're a Jew because of who your mother is. I said, that must be the religion of Judaism, which I'm not gonna chastise you for because you are free to practice your religion. But when we speaking about Torah, you have to check your religion at the door because your religion don't line up with what the Torah is teaching. 